most of you have probably heard that fires are sweeping through the Amazon rainforest at an alarming rate. These fires were actually started by ranchers, farmers, lumber mills, people trying to acquire land as there is no real consequence of them getting caught and being punished by the government. The question is, why is this being pushed so much in the media? You have global leaders meeting and talking about this as a catastrophe. The Amazon rainforest is the lungs of the world. Every single news station is blasting fires in Brazil. And the biggest question, why are people talking about this if, according to NASA, the Amazon is burning at below average rates? From what we know, the Brazilian president sees the rainforest as a business opportunity and is allowing the rainforest to be burned down for both logging as well as agriculture. But again, why are we freaking out when the amount of fires is almost identical to 2016? If you type in Brazil on Google, all you see is articles discussing the Amazon rainforest being on fire. What they aren't telling you is that 80% of the soybeans grown in Brazil are sold to China. And the majority of their beef exports go to China as well. And maybe the United States should stop buying gasoline and aircraft parts. This shit is comical. Transportation and airplanes cause far more emissions than anything else. We also know that the majority of oil seeds are going to China. At least we poison ourselves with our own oil seeds here in America. As we just said, the United States is purchasing many of the mineral fuels as well as machinery. The meat is going to China, but we also have ores, vehicles, iron, steel, and wood pulp. All of these export products are a result of deforestation. If anything, beef is the last thing we should be worried about. But what is the main message in the media, especially from celebrities? Leonardo DiCaprio says, eliminate beef to save the Amazon. Yeah, what exactly is not eating American beef going to do for the Amazon rainforest? I guarantee you these people will never spread a message that holds any truth or makes a shred of sense. Everyone in America wants cheap, fast, easy. It seems to be the same with China. Yes, it takes more time, money, and effort to raise animals properly on pasture land, and I guess they wouldn't make as much money on it because of all the systems that are currently in place poisoning us with conventionally raised animal foods and plant foods. But what we are doing now with conventional agriculture is the issue. It should not be labeled specifically to beef. The next few celebrities all posted a similar message very clear some type of new world order agenda marketing is at play here they're really controlling these people here we have callum von moger a fitness personality with over 3 million followers repeating the same thing as dicaprio eliminate or reduce consumption of beef chris jenner same message eliminate or reduce consumption of beef cara de levine and madonna also posted about this, but they didn't actually mention beef and weren't too specific in their message. And I'm sure there's dozens of celebrities that have actually posted about this that I haven't seen. It is comical that they are pushing this rainforest bullshit in the news. There are food shortages and massive crop losses that people are ignoring in America. If people had an idea of our current food system and how unsustainable it was, they would not give half a shit about the fires. And to be honest, I don't think anyone gives half a shit about the fires besides the vegans that I spoke to at the Animal Rights March yesterday. But hey, those people don't really do any research of their own. So they didn't know these statistics. They didn't know things I was talking about today. And they just take this stuff at face value leading into the fear-mongering that controls our society. 
plus the appeal to authority. So again, guys, what I've said in many videos, why not instead start focusing on supporting local sustainable agriculture? Because then the food supply would not be controlled. When you break out real statistics, you start to wonder what the hell is going on through people's heads. A simple answer to this is something like meat being bad for you. America has become arguably the unhealthiest country on earth over the past 50 years or so. The media constantly blaming it on meat. But then you look at people, the numbers, and beef consumption has been cut in half since the 1980s. Really shows how people will do literally no research on anything and take what they hear for granted. Uh, plus, we're really getting gaslighted. Uh, you know, gaslighting is when you repeat the same thing to someone and make them question their sanity. And if you tell people enough that meat is bad for you, yet they're not eating meat, they're going to believe it and they're going to think that the reason they're still sick is that they're eating meat. Vegans do this too with their diet. It's really despicable. Humans have lived side by side with animals in nature for thousands and thousands of years. Now we live in a society where everyone is sick, unhealthy, unhappy, selfish in their own little world but for some reason don't want to do anything about it because of fear of losing what they already have the more i am able to spread the message about quality animal foods the healthier people will be and the closer we can get to a society that allows happiness for everyone thank you for joining me today if you could please like the video subscribe hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. I am working very hard, guys, to provide you with high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys would like to reach out to me for fitness or health-related consultations, send me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com. I will be playing, uh, for those of you video gamers out there uh, world of warcraft classic on tuesday at 1 p.m eastern time on twitch.tv slash frankie tofano so if you guys want to hang out for quite a few hours i will be live streaming on that website definitely check that out guys uh, i'll put a link for that and everything else down below in the comments